Welcome to Factorio Reverse Megabase. My name is Nilas and this is episode 12 of our Let's Play. I am still ha really happy about this guy. He looks he looks a bit surprised. Like, oh no, what are you going to do? I'm going to do more giant builds with beacons and modules. Yeah, so um, one of the interesting things is that uh, some of you really like this kind of build where it's just... Uh, we get into the mega base build without sort of uh, the trivial parts of handcrafting and all that stuff. Um, but on the, on the other hand, there are also some people who don't particularly like it because it's just uh, it's just beacons modules. But um, you know, I'm enjoying it. I hope you are enjoying it as well. We are gonna keep trucking at it. And uh, last time we built this rocket control unit, and it's coming in here, and all of it seems good. Uh, these are all just piling up because this is piling up because this is piling up because down here this train is about to empty but not quite 2600 so you can see some of them are already emptying that's just the variance that i'm not super happy about but i think it's all the many times that i've enabled disabled these kind of things that uh, it makes it kind of imbalanced maybe we should fix it at some point i don't think that's going to be right now but this one it's coming out so when it goes out this train comes in and this one goes up here. So this one is producing more than one point. Uh, this is producing almost 4K. Anyway, that's not what we're going to do. Boop. We are going to start. Uh, so we're going to have a train in here. This train will be servicing uh, the control, rocket control near the ingredients. So that means blue circuits and speed modules. Now, Blue mod, blue circuits, it's actually blue circuits, they're actually just red circuits and green circuits. And speed modules are actually only red circuits and green circuits. So this is pretty much just taking red circuits and green circuits inbound and then maybe just leaching a bit of oil to make a bit of sulfur. So let's, um, let's try to figure out how we can do this. Uh, first things first though, we need to make sure that we have some kind of idea about how much we want inbound. If I use this part here, actually, I think it's better if I use my actual prepared definition here. So that one, I will need 25.5 blue circuits and okay. So that's 25.5 is what I, my target is and that's Let's start working from that. Oh, let's go out of the view. So, with this entire build, everything will be built like this, and except where necessary where possible, but everything will be built on the maximum number of beacons av available. There. Oh, sorry. I was running a longer distance, so it had these two in. They're just really annoying to run that fast both for you and for me. So one of these units is producing 0 0.75. And if I need to make 25.5 ish, 25.6, that's what the other one consumes. Yes, divided by 0 0.75. That's what each of them are making. That means I need 35 of these. Hmm. 35. Okay, this first thing is all about just numbers 35 that seems to be it's all about numbers really it's all about numbers yeah profound so that's three four five six seven and let's have a look it is now produced 26.25 yeah mm. If I take this out, let me just tr check if it's correct. 25.5, that's actually not enough. Here. So that's one part, then the other part. Um, yeah, oops, let's just try it like this. And I'll change it to blue circuits. Again, the number has to be the same. We're just going to use productivity because that's just better. All right, so a one more research those researches uh you could say that they're kind of irrelevant but they're actually kind of important because by keeping it going like this i'm actually going up to a high mining research and by the time i need to start out going out to copper and iron mines 
then I'll probably have mining productivity, I don't know, 60, 70 or something. And then it'll actually be easier for us to figure out if we only need two miners for each side of a blue belt. So it is important that this one keeps going. This produces 1.12 and it's going to be obscene amounts of green circuits. I love it. So again, 25.6 divided by, what is it? 1.12. Boom. That's 23. 23. Huh. 23 is not a good number. Just FYI. <laughs> Here. there that's 25 so let me have a look 26.8 26.2 good perfect this just goes into boxes now we just need to figure out how intense this is because if i just look at one of these rows it's using 96 that's actually too much interesting hmm what about that one it's using 64 so it's the idea would actually be five if I look five, then it would be two blue belts, right? Not two. Yep, two blue belts of green circuits for blue circuits. I mean, come on. It's not It's not only me who... It's not just on me that I get the colors wrong. Everything is just red, green, blue. Except belts. There are no green belts. Hmm, there should be. And what about the consumption up here? This is quite modest. Yeah, 31. This is three blue belts, three blue belts over this. I kind of figuring. Hmm. How much would this be? That is exactly half a belt. That's just too good. That's uh, that's just too convenient. Exactly half a build. Good. So, but this one is not good. I think I have to take that out. And now we're just way over building it. Doesn't matter that much, but the advantage of this is that it's much easier to deal with and saying this is two full belts one two three four five full belts five that's ten full belts and this is one two two and a half so we are up to twelve and a half full belts of green coming into this that's kind of kind of a lot of green circuits getting in here although i think that total numbers this was okay right this is still good and 368 divided by 45 that's eight and a bit plus 2.5 so we're up to 11 full belts between the two builds here i'm just trying to figure out what options i have in in terms of getting things in and out i think i'd still want this uh, i i can just maybe i'll just starve them just a bit Okay, let's do the sign for each. That's going to be the next big thing. Uh, I'm going to have to find a way to get two full belts into this part. Um, am I still running like way too fast? I feel I'm running too fast. Yep, yeah, I'll take this out so I can just more do designs here. So let's see. We're going to have... Oh, that's not it. We're going to have liquids in. We're going to have some... I think this one can just move on. And this one will be the output. Yep. So this is get this, get this. And each of these, let me just see 16. So it has to be two inputs. Yep. All right. And probably something like this. Number five should be a double one. Hmm. Yeah. The irony here is that this is actually the best way to do it. I don't know if it's the best way, but 
because this one merging out here is not great. I mean, I like this. It's also just a bit silly, but you know. Here. It does take a bit more belts, but the belts are going to be full anyway. So as long as it's a full belt, I don't think performance wise, it's a big problem. Now, the next one is if I look at the content here, neither of these are going to be more than half a belt. So I could share the belt here in the middle and basically like this. No, basically like this. And this one is going to grab and export. Yes. So Yeah. The question is, granted I do that one, huh? and I could take that one down here. Is there any reason why I can't compress it? That's much nicer. That is so much nicer, yes. I can't compress it on the other row, can I? Mm, maybe I can. I think this is actually just nicer as well. Input, output, and then it has to come on the close-up belt. Keep that in mind. So this one is red on the inside belt and loose on the outside belt. Yeah, that's way better. That is way better. And then we have sulfur coming either from top or bottom. Yep. And, oh, right. That doesn't really solve the issue that I was talking about. I was talking about like, would it be possible to... No, I can't compress it anyway, but it's still, this is still better. This is still better. All right. Unless, unless, we want to be really cheeky and then get this from up here and then go in here. You know what? That is possible. That means I could take all of this. What? Stack inserter in the way. There. This is so much more valuable to be able to do this. That is now our design. Cool, and I can take all of this out because I know the oops, know this one up here can be compacted as well, or compacted, compressed, and I think I might need to get it from down south here, and then a light. I'll put that here. I know it's always light in this one, and that's good. Two, three, four, five. There. I, don't, I still don't know why I didn't have squeak through for this one. I can't live without squeak through. I even made a tutorial that says I can't live without squeak through, and I keep forgetting to put it in this mod, mod pack. That was uh, not enough. No, I need one more row. Yeah, there. And I still get stuck on that damn thing. Oh, yeah, this has another little issue. Because that means the blue ones end up up there. Yeah, that's not how it works. Um, I actually want this one to be like this. Except all of these pipes or belts here have to be the other way around. Here, 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 here. And that one. So, let's visualize. It's important so that you kind of can have a slight chance of keeping up with what the hell I'm trying to do. Right, so that means now I can get green circuits in here and red circuits in there. Now I'm kind of feeling another th another thing, right? What if I do something like, how much is this taking? That's taking 64, okay. But what about this one plus that thing <gasps> that is amazing um that is so nice because that means i can feed two lanes directly in here 
Huh, one, two, three, four, five, six. What about the last one? Damn it, damn it. <laughs> and it's also like it's five. Five is not a good number. Six is almost good. Four is great. Eight is perfect. Because I'm going to have eight lanes coming in. What if I'm just... Hold on. This is... 24 was not enough. Wasn't that... That was like... 24 was not enough. And I can't just make it... You know what? What if I make it 24 but cheat a bit? Right, if I'm doing 24, it would be... Oops, not that, that. Uh, one, two, plus seven. Yeah, infinite loaders on top of infinite loaders doesn't really work. And I'm gonna take this part and just try to figure out uh, 26, that's actually enough, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, so this is good. So now we are back to eight rows. What if I do this one on eight rows? That's gonna be 32, I suppose. Okay, this is also weird because the top one was rotated. Yeah, 32 is not enough, but if I do eight rows, uh, third, eight rows of four, so let me just take this out. You know. I don't exactly know how I want to do this because I now realize that there's another problem. The problem being Okay, I, I yell at me when I forget to build uh, power. So that stupid blinking thing. All right, this is nice and compact. I like it. It goes up here and let me just see that one. Consuming 32. 48. Oh man. 48. Mm. What if it's only consuming 45? That means I would need to take 3.36 and then divide it by 48 and multiply by 45. Multiply by eight columns. That's gonna be 25.2. It's not enough, not enough. Ah, so it's okay. My my issues here is that it's really difficult to get this to be to be fitting because I need so many here. The point of this one would be well, I can just let this one go on to the next, and then it would be four like this, and that's going to consume fifteen. How the hell did I figure that out? Eight plus five, maybe. Yeah, it's still not very much. This one has to start working on grabbing the next one, which is not going to be easy with this kind of setup. But I guess this thing would work, except that now I can't. Yeah. Oh, it actually could work like this, right? Um, let me see. This one should be. This one's. Almost empty? How much empty is it? No, it's not almost empty. How much am I consuming from that belt? So I'm going to take 32 out of the belt. So there's, at this point, there's 13 left. That means... So basically, this belt here will consume 32 per second. And that means I'll still have 30, uh, 13 on this belt that will be merged in here to give a full belt. That means when this one takes another 16 out, then I am up, I'm down to 29. So that means I have 29 going up here. And does this consume more than less than 29? Distinctly less. So it's not a problem. All right, good. And then I'll do something like this, except not at all. Here, uh, change to that 
that one. And you know, I think I'll do this for all of them. It is a nice symmetry to it here. Ah, uh, that only needs one. That is actually super nice if it works. So let's give it two. All of that goes out. Damn, if, if I'm just finding something now that works, that is super nice. I love this part of the design. Just trying to do this. And I know that a lot of people have also been saying like they most enjoy when I do design work. Or just enjoy follow something to fall asleep to. Oh, I know. I have way too many bubbles. Let's take this out here and... Take all of those, all of those, all of those. One of the rare occasions where you can actually drag those and it makes sense. <clears throat> so at this point, I think that I am going to could I do that? Would that make more sense? And this one will then be only... That's actually a pretty cool way of doing it, I think. How? Oh, uh, direction. I only fixed one. Well, that's kind of easy to see if it works or not. Boom, boom. And that one, and that one. And now we have to do some checks. This one, uh, kind of the same. One, two, that one. Ah, seriously, why are they all faced the wrong way? And aside from this, it's also not going to be this, but it's going to be that one. Right, and direction. Keep moving up. Boom, boom. Yep. Okay, while I do that, if you um, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, and then maybe consider subscribing. I mean, you're sitting here watching me do this, so somehow you must be enjoying some of the stuff I do here, right? So, well, that was a shitty way to say it. Anyway, um, I appreciate everyone who's uh, subscribing to the channel, and it. Uh, it's really, uh, it's the way the YouTube algorithm works is that it displays to subscribers first and only sort of when it has been vetted by some subscribers does it sort of spread out to more to the general population on the interwebs. So with that being said, it actually helps a lot with getting it for me to get it onto to subscribers. Also, I know for myself that sometimes people I've subscribed to just vanish out of my feed for no reason. Let's have a look here. Uh, this one's not enough. Yeah, we knew that. We knew that. And that one's not enough. This one's fine. Does that mean we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? I think the easiest is just to build like one more row, which is then going to be messed up with regards to power. 
when I do copy here at the tail end. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. All right, this I think is good. Let's check it on various locations. Like, first of all, does it produce everything we want from this block? Yes, it does. More than. So that's one check. Second check. Does each row here consume less than half a... Oh, man. <laughs> less than half a belt of red circuits. No, it does not. It consumes more than half a belt of red circuits. Damn. Uh, if I am going to accept that it's only consuming half a belt, yeah. So... What I'm doing here is now basically saying I have six, but that would require me to deliver 30 inbound. But I'm only providing 22.5. On the other hand, I have more of these. I have one, two, three, four, five rows of those. So let's multiply. It's still not enough. Ah, man, I was so happy. And then, and then I'm not happy at all. Yeah, this has to be a different shape. All right, let's, can we ignore that for a second? This one, this is consuming 60, oh, 23.5. Okay, so it's also, ex, no, this is nothing to do with the reds again. Actually, if the reds were also coming up on the top line, that would actually help a lot. Huh, if reds was going horizontal as well, it would help. But then it couldn't do that. Okay. Let's uh, go this way. Yep. Not too much red. Not too much blue, obviously. And this one is the main problem. The fact that I'm consuming too much here. Is there any way that I could alleviate this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I like that it's eight here because that's eight halves. That's six, four full belts. I'm really happy about this. Now I just need it to work. And also, 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 also. That one. Yeah, does that... Uh, it does, unfortunately, tile incorrectly. And let's fire it up and see what we can get in here. So you are going to make sulfuric acid there. These are going to make greens. Uh, it's going to be painful if I have to change the whole thing. But it's going to look much nicer in the meantime. I'll just delete, 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 delete. Uh, that's really not a good idea. <laughs> like that. Yeah. And I know this is not even at all. But I don't think it really really matters. It's going to be less. And here. So what I needed was just to figure out. What I really need is to figure out if there's a way that I could get more in here. That I could sort of merge in later on. And I think there is. I'm not sure I'm liking it. Like that, for example, right? Why did that suddenly... Huh. So that copy did not work the way I wanted it. You know, it might actually be better if it was on the inside. Because then I could do that. 
Now, this is obviously enough. <clears throat> How much? This one's consuming 18. This one's consuming 22.5. So it's actually not there, but. Here. Because that should actually be empty. Yeah. Okay, well, it does feel weird to do that. And it does feel a bit like a hack, doesn't it? It kind of does. There. And then I just copy all of this into. Now what? Mini loader. Something is off here. One of them is not turned the right way. That one. So it wasn't producing at all. Are you not producing? Nope. Let's try again. These are flowing, 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 flowing. And this one is not getting anything. Why are you not getting anything? How are you unable to output? Oh, because I forgot that. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of things that, uh, that go wrong here. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I just can't find it right now. Okay, so I'm going to get eight lanes in. Four of them are going to be half. It's actually going to be six lanes. Because these are going to be full lanes. That's four full lanes. Uh, is there a good way to do this? Not really. I mean, I think by doing this and just getting it double sided, it's going to be fine. Oh, that's not, that's not fine at all. That's like everything except fine. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's this way. How how am I how am I not doing this? I really want him on the inside. Huh. Like that. No. Now I'm I'm completely lost on how to get get it just seems like so obvious that I guess like the simplest way but it looks like crap is this way. That's the I don't know. Do I dare say least bad option I have for this? I think I've also killed some of this. Yeah, I have. I have. It's not able to output. It's still on this side. It's still coming in on the wrong side. Should be going away. And then... Okay. And then I also destroyed this one. But I don't think I fixed it though. Boom. Uh, what? What? Oh no! 
Oh no! Ha! So that only works in the case where I don't have the power pole there. And the power pole has to be there, but it can also be down there, and then it has to be there. All right, it's just, it's so funny how many things that we find out that actually, sorry, but that's, I mean, that's why we do this, right? Okay, so again, power poles, all of these, get them out of there. And let me just fix this, that one, and then I'm gonna take that one and just dump to here, should be okay. Here should be okay. Here should be okay. And then obviously we're gonna get some. That one. And I know that this is still not working. There. No, undo. These still behave a bit weird. I don't know. Maybe you have a better solution to that one. Let's get clear this is pipe here. So that it's only on one side. That looks good. And then just mainly for good measure. Make sure that the outside belt here is also good. There. So what I have now should be enough. I'll do one more time. And we still need all the inputs and outputs and sulfur and all that stuff. So this is enough. This is way more than enough, uh, but yeah. And I'm gonna need a eight trade splitter on this side and I'm gonna need here and I'll these two will just come in and fill up in belts. This one goes to go come in. And this is very nice because it's now 16 full belts. Let me just make absolutely sure that this one isn't a problem. This is 36, but the most important part is actually the fact that this part up here is only taking 18 so, so it's 19 plus whatever this one takes. 19 plus 16, that's 35. And that's less than a full belt because I only have one full belt for the remainder up here. So it's good. It's good. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's where we're going to wrap this one up here. That was, considering how difficult that was, and then at the end we come out with a design that's 8x8 eight eight and really tileable. I think that's uh, that's a testament to how awesome this series is that uh, it starts with something where it just doesn't really match and it was like seven by five and you know those and 23 of the other ones and then you just start rounding up and it looks pretty neat at this point you can cut some corners here and remove some beacons but at the end of the day beacons don't really take any updates and this is really nice it should be very easy for us to get a green a green train in here and a red train in here get some sulfur small sulfur production get this out here on the mixed train that we have promised and then yeah wow okay that's a that's a I'm, I'm really surprised at how this works i mean there might be some things if you see some errors here and there because they they certainly could be there uh, the fact that i'm seeing stuff coming out from all three of them that's a good sign the fact that i'm seeing things coming out from all five of these is also a good sign so with that being said i think that at least some of it is working somewhere Cool. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this uh, design madness and I hope to see you in the next episode. So hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. I am trying to record only after I see the inputs from the comments so that I can incorporate those into my uh, next video. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Take care and stay effective.